buddy. We got that lumber off the trailer, and we're ready to head to Nebraska. Our pickup is in a town called Lindsay, Nebraska. And that's taking us all the way over to Prince Edward Island in Eastern Canada. So let's get going. Got caribou coffee this morning. I'm here in Brainerd. I'm gonna give it a shot. area or something with a garbage can soon I've got a empty washer fluid jug down there and some cardboard from a case of water It's a little bit of a deadhead today. It'll be a full day. Well, not a full day, but it'll be all day today will be empty. We're loading tomorrow morning in Lindsay, Nebraska. It's about 750 kilometers, seven and a half hours of driving to get there. That's where the reload is, and that's where the dollars await me. So here we go. Chasing those dollars wherever they show up. So when I come down from Canada, I can deliver into the US, right? But the load I take back to Canada has to, co has to go directly back to Canada. So I can't pick up a load here in Minnesota and bring it to Nebraska and then pick up the load in Nebraska going back to Canada. I'm not allowed to do that. That's called interstating. To put simply, that would be taking an American job, right? They have American truckers to do that stuff. I have to take freight that's going directly back to Canada. So my load is going back to Prince Edward Island and is waiting in Nebraska so I can drive there to pick it up. And then we go straight directly back to our destination. That's how it works. It's the same thing for Americans when they deliver up into Canada. You know, if you deliver into Winnipeg and your reload is in Saskatoon, you're gonna have to go empty from Winnipeg to Saskatoon to pick up your reload. You're not allowed to pick up freight in Winnipeg and deliver it into Saskatoon to fill up that gap. You know what I mean? Because that's the same thing as before, just the other way. That's a Canadian job to do. So if you're an American you have to pick, and you pick up freight in Canada, it has to be a load that's going directly back to the United States. That's the way the laws work and all the treaties and trade and whatever else they've signed. I think it works pretty good. Sometimes we have multiple drops in the US, like sometimes we have up to nine drops. You know, like my first drop could be in Iowa and then I could have five drops, you know, through like Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, and then ending off in Florida. That's all one load. That's okay. But then I have to pick up a reload in Florida or wherever, or if I'm in Florida for my last drop and my reload is only in, let's say, Texas, Hopefully I'd have a reload closer than that, but if the only one was in Texas, I'd have to drive empty all the way to Texas, pick it up, and then go right back to Canada. So I'm an international driver. I go cross-border, back and forth between Canada and the United States. And I really 
really enjoy it. I like seeing the differences in the countries and the similarities. I've decided to travel down Minnesota Highway 23. We're sort of cutting across Minnesota through the countryside towards Sioux Falls in South Dakota. Just coming up to Spicer, Minnesota. Now I didn't know how many detours the 23 had. We've already gone through two kind of lengthy detours. They're repaving the entire highway behind me in two different sections. So there was big long detours that kind of confused me a little bit, but good thing that they had proper signage on the side of the road that guided me around it. I appreciate that when they go through the extra effort of making the road signs clear and visible and easy to understand because sometimes you go through places and they have a detour sort of like that that detour back in uh, by Shakopee the other day remember that and you have no idea what's going on there's no warning ahead of time that there's a detour coming uh, that, that the road is closed up ahead so when you get there you're like oh the road is closed okay and then there's no signs of which way trucks should go and then you sort of follow traffic until you can find somewhere to pull over, right, and, and find out which direction to take. But sometimes these detours lead through non-truck routes. So you can't just trust them when they're like, yeah, this road's closed, just go that way. Well, is that way a truck route? Because this was a truck route. That doesn't look like a truck route. <laughs> so... They did a good job here, they, they sent us around. It wasn't in an urban area either, it was through the countryside, so I got to see some uh, Minnesota farmland. Nice little scenic detour. I'm about three hours away from Sioux Falls. Like I was telling you earlier, I wanna grab some fuel there. I was thinking of grabbing a shower there as well. Though I'm gonna look at the time when I get there, and I might head all the way down to Lindsay, Nebraska, just straight there. I have to make sure that I'm there in time so that in the morning I can wake up and get loaded without uh, you know, running into problems with my, my logs. So we'll play it by ear. We'll just go grab fuel and we'll see how we're feeling then. Still have to look up what truck stops are around Lindsay and uh, check out a few of my apps, see if there's a good place to park nearby or if I can park right at the customer or at the shipper. Sorry, I, I don't even know what I'm loading yet. I have no idea. No one's told me. All I've been told is instructions. I've been given the address and the business. I guess I could Google the business and see what kind of products they make. I just haven't done that yet because, to be honest with you, I don't really care. I don't care what they're gonna put on my trailer. As long as it's legal and I can tie it down and it's not overweight, doesn't matter to me at all. I will put anything on the trailer that you, that you wanna put on there. I will, I'll bring it to where it needs to be.
flown by today, but we did work late last night, so we got a late start this morning. Which is why it feels like the day was so short for me. Yeah, because the sun's gone down already. I still got a few hours to drive yet. So I don't want to waste too much time here. I need to make sure I get to... Oh, 300 meters, slight right on, west 60th street north. I need to make sure I get close to the shipper. Turn right in 120 meters. Okay, Karen, I know where I'm going. Need to get close to the shipper tonight. So that I can load and leave from there with a full day of driving ahead of me. I'm going to make it close to the Canadian border, uh, either at from Detroit into Windsor or from Port Huron into Sarnia. I might take the Sarnia route because it's a little bit of a quieter Turn border right. crossing. We'll see. Oh boy, it looks like the fuel pumps are busy right now over there. Oh, nice. Of course. Be waiting a little bit of a lineup here. Approaching destination in 300 meters on the left side. I see it. I see it. Oh, that's an entrance, my friend. That is an entrance. The exit is on the other side for this exact reason. trucker path. I'll just go type in one second here type in Lindsay to Oh there's so many ads. Trucker path. I know you've messaged me before if you're watching right now your ads are getting out of control. Every, every time I open the app I want to quickly find a truck stop I'm like bam 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 slapped with three ads. Hey would you like this? Hey would you like that? Hey would you like No I want to know where I can park. Where, where are we? Uh, search for places. God, again, another one. Okay, Lindsay. Lindsay, Nebraska. Type that in and it'll show me all the truck stops around that area. Okay, is there anything there? Nothing. <laughs> no truck stops in town, eh? Okay, so the closest one might be over in the next town over. Oh yeah, well that, that's good to know. I have to know where I'm going before I get there, otherwise I get there and I got nowhere to park. It's a good thing we're not staying here for night. This place is packed. I think the exit is this way, but now I'm doubting myself because I thought the uh, exit would be right here off to our right, and that's definitely uh, just parking spots. So, oh wait, no, maybe it is over there, right where that car came from. So there is quite a few parking spots available back here yet. It's not as packed as I thought it was. I don't know why everyone is crammed up at the front when there's so much back here. There we go, here's the exit. I knew it, I remember this place. I've been here many times, spent many nights here. I just haven't been here in a little while. There we go. So I picked up 147 US gallons, which was 556 liters. And the price here, our fleet price was $3.82 US per gallon. Turn right on West 60th Street North. Or in Canadian, with all conversions, a dollar thirty-six six per liter. Canadian. Two hundred meters. Turn right on West 60th Street North. About another three hours. 
Commerce to Lindsay, and there's a few truck stops on my way as we get closer. There's a Loves in Norfolk, Nebraska, and another couple of small Ma and Pa truck stops on the way a little bit closer than that yet. So we'll be able to find somewhere to park, I'm sure. It's off the beaten path. Oh, look at this truck off on the left. Look at him, look at him. Oh, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. Nice. Very nice. This truck stop is called Club 81. We're on US Highway 81, which makes sense. And we're gonna stop here for the night. We're just down the road from our shipper. This place isn't 24 hour, but it is a lit parking lot. It's not the brightest lot, but I feel comfortable parking here anyway. So in the morning, we'll go down the street, pick up our load, and maybe we'll uh, come back here and check this place out, see what kind of coffee they got, because this will be on my way back east. So the load we're picking up tomorrow goes to Prince Edward Island. Nice big long trip. Should be a four day trip or a four day journey to get there from here. Uh, tomorrow, we won't quite make it back to Canada, but we'll be in Michigan somewhere tomorrow night. The following day, we'll cross either at Detroit into Windsor or Port Huron into Sarnia. I haven't decided yet. Uh, figure that out as we go. And then go up in Ontario. Oh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Probably get through Toronto, maybe even into Quebec. And the next day, we'll go through the rest of Quebec, up and around the top of Maine in Canada into New Brunswick. We'll go down, 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 down New Brunswick, and then the next day we'll go across Confederation Bridge into Prince Edward Island and deliver there. And then uh, turn around, head back into Quebec where my reload is, and find a place to park somewhere and get a reset. I'm thinking I might park, I, I know this great truck stop in uh, New Brunswick. It's in the northern part of New Brunswick there. I haven't been there in years, but I do remember it's a really nice place to stop. I forget where it is though. It's in the northern part right before you get to Quebec. A little about an hour from the Quebec border up there. We'll figure that out then. I'll just stop for a reset somewhere and then we'll go get reloaded in Quebec. And as far as I know, we're headed back home from there. So we'll be going through Ottawa probably. Let's say we'll say hello to our federal government as we go past there. Give them a special salute. And then through Northern Ontario, all the way back home so we got quite quite a bit of miles ahead of us yet we got 4,000 kilometers approximately to PEI and then 4,000 kilometers back oh excuse me so I've got I think about 8,000 kilometers between 8 and 10,000 kilometers in front of me which is 5,000 to uh, 6,000 miles right 8,000 5,000 to about 5,000 to 6,500 miles but I'm pretty tired as you can tell. I'm gonna go right back there and go to sleep and put this all together tomorrow after I get loaded. That's my first priority. I have to get there on time. I wanna be early, get loaded. We'll come back here and then we'll assess the situation and figure out what's happening next. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I know it was kind of just a cruising day. We've been empty all day, nothing on the trailer. So this uh, load's gonna make up for it going to PEI and uh, hope it's a good trip I don't usually take these long ones anymore but uh, every once in a while we'll go visit our friends out east and see what they're doing right. take care everyone stay safe be safe and drive safe talking to you